What's happening, everybody? I told myself a long time ago when I first started this channel that I would never, ever make a cutting board video. Everybody's made a cutting board video. So today, we're going to use the same exact process that you would use to make a cutting board, but instead we're going to make pencil holders. One man's garbage is another man's treasure. I wouldn't go that far, but this is cherry and this is not cheap. Um, my friend Joe gave me this and uh, he also gave me uh, this maple here. And we're going to use these two species of wood uh, to make our pencil holders today. I'm going to be cutting about 50 quarter inch by quarter inch strips on the table saw. Um, and, and that can be a little tedious and could be a little dangerous too since it's so small. So I'm going to take an old push stick and I'm going to modify it a little bit and, and it's going to make this whole process a little bit easier. So these are all glued up, I let them sit overnight, they're dry, and now we're ready to go to the next step. I made six boards here. Um, each board have, has seven strips of material in it. I made sure that three of the six boards have four pieces of cherry in here and three pieces of maple, and then that the other three have four pieces of maple and three pieces of cherry. Because what you want to do is you want to be able to have every other one stacked up. So that way you don't have a situation where you end up having something like this, which is just not going to look right. You want the, the light and dark to be every other one. So this is what you have to make sure you do when you're putting these together. I know a lot of people are like me where you don't have every single tool. Um, I think very few people have every single tool. And what I would have liked to have had were some parallel clamps because if I had those, it would have been easier to get these to be perfectly even with each other. And if you take a look, they are not perfectly even with each other, which is going to be fine because I'm going to run it on the jointer and it will get, uh, it, I'll level everything off. But if I had the right clamps, I probably wouldn't have to take off as much of uh, I, I wouldn't have to pass it through as many times on my jointer. almost made a mistake here. Make sure when you're stacking these that the outer piece of material um, alternates between the maple and the cherry.
I am using a 2 inch Forstner bit to make the hole where the pencils are going to be placed in. I'm making a reference circle around the hole that I'm drilling. Uh, this is going to be used later on as a reference for when I'm bringing it to the sander, trying to get a perfect curve on the front of this thing. By the way, when you're using bits this big, you want to slow down your machine significantly. Otherwise, you're going to burn out the bit and it's just not going to cut right. Off camera, I made a second pencil holder with the same exact method that I used making the first one. The only difference is that the direction of the grain is different um, than the first one. I'm going to be using linseed oil to finish this off. Uh, it's something I had laying around, but I do like the idea of using this because it's going to darken the cherry and, and it's just going to make it pop a little bit more. So I think it's going to look pretty cool. I hope you like this build, everybody. Uh, if you're not subscribed, just think about doing that. And if you hit the bell icon, that will let you know when I post new videos. I am also now on Instagram, so if you want to follow me there, there's a link below in the description that you click on. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and like always, I will see you in the next one.